It's time for another Penny Hunt and Phil episode. This is going to be episode 25, and we've got boxes 36 and 37 to hunt. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. I do want to mention at the onstart of this video that if you've been watching my channel and enjoying the content and you find out that you're not subscribed, please consider dropping a subscription. Every one of you who subscribes to my channel helps me tremendously. Now that being said, I also want to make a reminder that if you have not watched the first 24 episodes of this Penny Hunt and Phil series, to please check out the playlist that I have linked both down below and up here. That way you can get caught up before you see the progress we've made on the album. Now for those that are all caught up, you'll remember that after the last episode, we now have 170 of the 234 spots in this Penny album completed and we are making great progress especially after the last two hunts obviously i'm missing both small dates in the copper cent years we could use that 54s that's been eluding us a couple of more steel cents even though we were fortunate to find one and then once we get past the last three pages and we move on to the first two we have quite a few findable cents in here and of course the tough ones now that we're all caught up, I'm going to try to keep this intro as quick as possible and get right into the hunt. I do want to make a reminder that if you are interested in any of my coin roll hunting mats, I always have links to those down below and up here. Feel free to check it out. If you want a way to sort your finds and take a look for some of the varieties, key dates, and semi-key dates. Now, I want to also mention that we've got a main penny box thanks to Blitzbiker2001 who traded me a Texas box for a main box. I do like my Northeast boxes. I believe this one's from a smaller city credit union, so I'm curious to see what's inside there. And of course, I've been hot on my DFW boxes lately, so I picked up another one of those to see if we can marry this hunt, 100 rolls, and get some goodies for that album. Obviously, Blitzbiker2001 popped the top of this box to make sure they were circulated, and I did the same over here, so definitely have circulated since the hunt. You guys know the drill. We're going to start cracking some rolls and let's see if we can fill some spots. Roll number two, first wheat scent found. Kind of got a darker tone to it. And it's going to be, I think that's a 52 Denver. Let's just double check. And it is. 1952D gets us on the board. First wheat scent found. Same roll, second wheat scent. 1947 Philadelphia. Roll eight. Wheat set number three. 1949 Philadelphia. We don't need it, but nice to see a 49. Roll number nine. Wheat set number four. Another 1947 Philly. Roll number 10. Wheat set number five. 44 Philadelphia. Roll number 11. Wheat sent number six already. And that's going to be another 1944 Philly. Roll number 14. Wheat sent number seven. And that's an oldie 1928 Philadelphia, but I think we have a 28. Either way, 20s wheat sent in the box is always a good find. Roll 16. Wheat scent number eight, keeping on pace with that one every other roll average. 45, Philadelphia. Roll number 18 is going to give us wheat scents nine and 10. I took a look at this one, and that is going to be a 40 Denver, which I think we already have. And as I flatten it out, I can barely spy what I think is a 1950 Philadelphia back here. And it is. So that makes 10 wheat scents. Through 18 rolls, just about. Roll 21. Wheat scent number 11. 1958 Philly. Roll number 22. We have a dozen wheat scents. This one is just a 1946 Philadelphia, but it's one we didn't have on the board. Roll number 27. We have a baker's dozen. Wheat scent 13 is going to be a 1949 Denver. Roll 28, wheat scent number 14, 1951. Roll 31 has the 15th wheat scent. 
It's a pretty fire damaged 1946 Philadelphia. Roll number 32, still on that one wheat cent every other roll pace. This is wheat cent 16, and it's going to be a 1950S. Don't see too many S mints. We like seeing them. Roll number 33, wheat cent number 17 of the hunt. And that's another 1944. Well, it's been 10 rolls, but roll 43 will finally give us our 18th wheat cent of the box. We're shooting for 20 at this point. And this is going to be a 1957 Philadelphia. Roll 44. Wheat cent 19. And that's going to be, I think, a 58. No, 53 minted in Denver. Roll 47 will give us our 20th wheat cent. It was almost an ender. Second from the end. And that's a 1955 Philly. We don't see any doubling with the naked eye, but I figured I'd take a quick peek just in case and uh, not even the poor man's doubling. But 20 wheat cents now on the board. Well, that's going to do it for that main penny box. And you know what? It was a good box. We actually got the Northeast trifecta, if you will. That being a lot of Canadians, a lot of copper, and a lot of wheat cents. We ended up with 20 wheat cents for the box, which was definitely a great box. Nothing really old except for the 11928 Philadelphia, which I think we already have. And again, nothing in the 30s. As far as the Canadians, we got 14. We got eight from 59. Two pretty nice cents. And I pulled that 60D small date out because I think the one we have is brown and that might upgrade. And then we had 169S, not the DDO, pretty toasty, but I always pull those out anyway. I also want to make mention that I did pull out a 1983. It's not so much that it's a nice shape, even though it is. But when I checked the reverse for the DDR, I did notice it had a pretty hefty die crack right there on the base of the Memorial Building. So I might keep that one out because that's a pretty significant die crack on the reverse of this pretty nice 1983 scent. No other varieties found, but still a fun hunt. Always fun hunting those Northeast boxes. Now that we've got one box down, I've got to dump the copper cup out because I know there's not enough space for what I'm going to find in my box. And hopefully my box can add to the board at least 10 more wheat cents, maybe something for the album, maybe something bright and shiny. I'll bring you guys in on our first find of box two. Roll 54. Wheat cent number 21 is a 1955 Denver. Roll number 55. Wheat cent number 22. 1958 Denver. Same roll. Wheat sent 23. Another 1958 Denver. Roll 59. Wheat sent 24. Looks like it's going to be a 46. Doesn't matter if there's a mint mark or not. We already have it. Roll number 69. Wheat sent number 25. Another 1946. Roll 71, wheat cent 26, 57 Denver. We're on roll 81. It's been a bit since the last wheat cent, but we've got another one. Wheat cent 27 is going to be a 48S. We would have needed that a few boxes ago, but we don't need it anymore. Roll 83, wheat cent 28. It's a 52. It's a 52S. Nice seeing wheat cents with the S mint on them, but... We have all those except for the 54S in the 50s and 40s. Roll number 97. Wheat cent number 29. Hey, and it's a 1935. It's one from the 30s, although pretty sure we got that one. Roll 99 of the hunt will give us wheat cent 30. Uncovered it, saw it by the edge, and this one's going to be another 1957 Denver. Well, that's going to do it for the second box. It was a decent box. We got 10 wheat cents in that box to make 30 for the hunt. Really nothing else of note other than we did add a 30s, although it's a 35, and I think we have it. We got up to 20 Canadian cents, including a laureate portrait from 1956. We added a few more 59s for a total of 11. No more nice and shinies. One more 69S, not the DDO. And about what I expect on copper for my boxes. A little bit less than normal. Either way, it was a fun two-box hunt. I don't think we're going to have anything to add to the album. Maybe an upgrade. 
Let me go ahead and do that now and bring you back with a final look at any progress that we made. Well, I have combed through the finds and we knew this day might happen. We actually did not add any coins to the album, so we're stuck at 170 out of 234 through 37 boxes complete. I will say that we were able to upgrade that 1960D small date right there. A lot better example than the one we had in there, which was a brown, although it's a nicely struck brown. One upgrade out of those two boxes, nothing to add to make the album more complete. I do want to do a special thank you to Blitzbiker2001 for that main box. That was basically the main box of the hunt. And although we didn't get anything from both boxes for the album, I still had a ton of fun. Hopefully you guys are still having fun watching this series despite very little progress that was made through this hunt. And I would suspect that going forward, it's going to be even more difficult to make progress unless we get a hot box. If you are enjoying it, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.